The nurse starts shouting at him in Arabic. He seems to want to apologize, and something sets him off. Now they are both shouting at each other. His wife, mid-sentence, begins to sob. Well, if you can't send someone, then just pray for me. Just stay on the phone with me. I'm scared. And please excuse my wife. She is bipolar. I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, need, I need some sugar. He reads over her chart as his wife sits down. He pulls a rolling chair close. She opens a candy bar and eats quietly. Oh, I see you are referred by Miss Tapioca. Mrs. Uh, yes, uh, she likes uh, the curry fingers. <laughs> Dr. Meeker Mink snaps on a pair of examining gloves and goes to separate her knees. Crystal looks more nervous than ever. But here we go, Mrs. Bobby. We can start now. Let's just get these legs open. Uh, now I think I'm just going to. No need to be shy. Just relax. I ain't never let another maid touch me down there before. Come on, Mrs. Bobine. I've seen a thousands of vaginas in my time. There's <laughs> nothing in that. He gets her legs apart. Holy God, woman. Did you have a breach, babies? Well, just the twins. They's my youngest. Well, we certainly have our work <laughs> cut out for us here. Ooh. Let's just uh, open wide now. Wait, there's something you should know about my... As soon as the doctor makes contact with her private parts, she passes out cold. Crystal has a narcoleptic vagina, causing her to black out whenever it is touched. <laughs> Interior, doctor's office, examining room later. Crystal jolts awake from a deep sleep. She is groggy. Hey, what... Oh, Jesus. Not here. Where is the doctor? You were unconscious for an hour. Doctor has a meeting at two. He said to tell you a happy birthday and congratulations. The nurse sketches at an easel nearby. Crystal moves to start getting dressed. Congratulations. Oh, oh, don't, don't move. I, I almost done. There. It will be beautiful vagina again someday. Someday. The nurse turns over the giant sketch pad, and it is an artistic rendering of Crystal's post-surgery private part. What? Oh, my God. You like it? I used to do caricatures at the Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you sketch my system? It is your package. My board, board that's big. <laughs> With a free consultation. Normally, it's special for high-end clients. But we do one special just for you, uh, considering. Oh my god. Oh Christ. Oh, I left the kids out in the truck all this time. I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> she throws on her house coat and gathers her stuff as the nurse rolls up her sketch into a tube. Oh, when do I come back for the procedure? Oh, there can be no procedure. Not yet. Why not? I got the money, I'll have you know. The nurse holds up a pregnancy stick with a plus sign. No, it is not that. You, you are expecting again. See? What a wonderful birthday present this must be for you. Crystal stares back blankly. Exterior, Mary Lou's trailer, later. <coughs> Mamma and Tapioca are standing out Mary, outside Mary Lou's trailer, armed with decorations and cleaning supplies. Tapioca is trying different keys. Mamma jigs a pill out of her purse and hands it to Tapioca. I swear, Mamma, you're like a walking pharmacy. These are Tabby struggles to find the right, right key, slowly as not to mess up her new manicure. Here, girl, take one of these. We'll be done a lot quicker. No, I don't know, Mamma. I had a cocktail before I gave Charlie his bath. They're just yellow jackets for truck drivers. Can't be bad for you. They sell it in the gas stations, for Christ's sake, with that fake Viagra. Does that stuff work? I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to ask my penis. <laughs> How could I know? <laughs> Lord, you sure you just had the wood cocktail? Tapioca <laughs> smells her own breath. Hurry up with them keys. Them ribs need flip. I'll find it. You drink more, too, if you have to wash them. Charlie has the most abnormally ugly scrotum. Looks like a damn elephant skin. Giant cut awful fox. Darling, we love you and all so just so much and just... Now that this comes from the heart, uh, but sometimes you share too much. But Mama, it's just the grossest thing. It just hangs there like, ugh. Stop. Give me those. She snatches the keys from Taffy's hand. Tapioca takes her yellow jacket pill and unwraps a long straw. Her lips wrap around it and search for her iced coffee. 
finding its way into an open bottle of pine saw instead. After one drink, she pulls away, smacking her lips. The straw pops out and into her coffee drink as she looks down. She sips the coffee, thinking it's spite. Oh, those boys down at the Starbucks, they're so good to me. Is it, is it this one? No, it's silver. Oh, this shit better kick in soon. Crystal will be get back, Mary Lou back from the airport as soon as her crotch doc appointment's over. We still got decorated. Don't worry, I've got us some Red Bull. Mamma rolls her eyes, annoyed. God, Tappy, is, is it the one with Mary Lou written on it? Probably. A muffled beep and vibrating is heard. <clears throat> Mamma realizes she missed a call. Oh, she left a message. Let me ring to it. Tapioca takes the keys and unlocks the door. Well, put it on speaker. You know she leaves them half-hour messages. I really should have made good on my promise to come to us. Why I tell her I'd clean her place for her? Because you were a true friend. Gross. They get Mary Lou's door open. Interior, Mary Lou's trailer continuous. Can't be all that dirty. They enter. Mamma turns on the lights. Tapioca looks terrified. It's not like anybody's been. Tapioca twitches, then smells her breath again, then the pine saw bottle. Oh, Jesus. But she didn't take this much with her, did she? No. They stare into a near bare trailer. Mamma's outgoing vo voice message is heard. Beep. Crystal's message is broken and confusing, dur during which the yellow jackets kick in and Tapioca and Mamma spring to alertness. Mamma, I'm just. Hell, uh, you can tell her that. The message becomes muffled as tapioca sways from side to side, miming what used to be where in Mary Lou's living room. The TV, the couch, the computer, etc. She passes out, point of view focuses on her. Dissolved to exterior Mary Lou's trailer night. Tapioca exits Mary Lou's trailer with a cigarette and putting her clothes back on. Someone stands behind her, whispering into her ear. I gotta get back. My in-laws are here. Can I take a shower? Tapioca hands him the keys. Just leave them in my box. <clears throat> the male one. She waywardly scampers across towards her trailer. Oh, I feel woozy. How long were we in there? POV zooms to Tapioca walking forward. Interior Mary Lou's trailer. Moments later close-up of tapioca's face. She is lying on the floor, passed out. Mamma throws a glass of water on her face. She pops up. Mamma goes back to hand drying the glass. Mamma, you know that night I can't remember when I got day rape drugged? Child, you can't wait the will. <laughs> tapioca stands, momentarily stone sober, and assesses the situation. The caffeine pill kicks in hardcore as her speech gradually picks up speed. Ideally, Tapioca would deliver this whole speech breathless. Well, it's obvious what happened, isn't it? Whoever it was must have brought me in here and had their way with me while I was knocked down, made their way all the way down to the Walmart, because Lord knows that is the only place around here you're going to get a key made at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then when they eat, or they, I don't know, it could have been a whole gang of them. You don't know, those Mexican gangs with the meth labs just ruining this country. They must have put me back in the car and then brought me here when they were done with me. Was it? Oh, Jesus Christ, this is fun. <laughs> this is not funny. This is, this is. This is all her shit being gone. <laughs> I got it. We'll tell her. We. 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 A slight pause. Tapioca gestures in the direction of Mamma's house. Weed. We. 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 Tell her that we wanted to do something special for her, that she deserved to come back to a new, fresh place. Uh, where are we going to get a foosball table around here? Well, tell her that Jesse came around and took some of his stuff. Oh, no, that'll scare her off. Well, then we'll just chalk it up to a creative license. I threw it away. Work with me, damn it. Man, this stuff hits you in cycles, don't it? Ma'am, i not. We got an hour to drive by the church bazaars and hit up some yard sales. I've seen some good coffee tables on the way back from Pearl Street. Oh, and we gotta remember to get her some good silverware, but it has to be not all matching. And the rest will just have to stop from our places and work on it later. Oh, and I got that new waffle maker, but I really wanted that waffle maker for a while now. And now I'm Mary Ruth loves those waffles, but she won't notice that her homecoming tiara is missing. I mean, it's not like the real thing was, but she never knew that exactly, so... Mamma reaches up and smacks her. <laughs>